For our last project, we are going to be doing iron-on onto a really soft, cuddly, plush throw with our Cricut Easy Press 2. This is the large size. Now this one measures 12 by 10. So this one is great for those large projects like blankets or big oversized hoodies or pillowcases, um, home decor, all of those big projects you're going to want to use the large Easy Press 2. So again, we need to double check our material content. This one is polyester again. Everything we're doing is polyester. So our instructions will be the same. Okay, so this needs to be set at 315 with 30 seconds. So that's going to heat up. I'm going to set it aside while I get my surface ready here. I've got my vinyl all cut out and it says, shh, this is my napping blanket. Isn't that so cute? I really kind of love that. I think I'm gonna be giving these away as gifts for the holidays. Now I just had a pair of scissors and I don't know what I did with them. So right there. So we gonna take this off and take off all the little plastic things. I love this blanket. I'm gonna show you what I love so much about this blanket. It has foxes! Look at how cute. Doesn't that make you think, what does the fox say? Pow, 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 pow. You're welcome. Now you have that song stuck in your head for the rest of the day. Okay, so this is a super, super soft blanket. We've got the foxes on the pattern side and a nice brown, dark brown on the other side. And we are going to put the vinyl on the solid side and I want it to be in the bottom right hand corner facing out. So like if I were wearing this blanket, it would be upside down for me. So I just kind of have to see how that would be. So I'm gonna hold it up against me. Okay, so I want the vinyl right here on this bottom corner, just like that. So I'm putting that over the mat and let everything else drape down. I've got my vinyl and it's just gonna go in the very corner right there. So easy peasy. I'm gonna move my mat a little bit here. Now this one, this Easy Press does take a little bit longer to heat up since it is so large, but it's nice because then you don't have to go multiple passes over your area. We're gonna preheat our area for five seconds. So we're gonna grab this. Now this one is a little bit heavier, but I can still easily lift it with one hand. We're just gonna heat that for five seconds. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit just to make sure that we get that whole area for five more seconds. See, I can totally lift it with one hand. So it's heavier, but it's still not even close to as heavy as that industrial one that we used first. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my plush, plush blanket right where I want it, okay? And we are going to do the 30 seconds. Let's see, can we do it in one pass? Not quite, it almost fits, but not quite. So we're gonna do it in two passes, but think if we were doing this with the smallest uh, Easy Press 2, we'd probably have to do this in about six or eight passes. So it is really nice to have the big Easy Press, for those big projects. And in my opinion, it's easier to, to do all projects with the bigger Easy Press 2 than to try and do all projects with the smallest Easy Press 2. So if you're going to be using all sorts of different sized projects, then I would recommend the largest one. Oh, I didn't hit the timer. But really you could do any project with just about any size Easy Press 2. It just all matters on how many passes it has to make. 
So, but they are so fun and so easy to use. And isn't this raspberry color so pretty? Love the raspberry. The Easy Press 2 actually heats up a lot faster than the original Easy Press as well. So, and then the, the tray is different than the original one. Okay, we're gonna turn it over. And we're gonna do 15 seconds on this side. Okay, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna do that warm peel again. Easy, easy peasy. I keep saying easy peasy because it really is that easy. Move it over just a little bit just to make sure that we get that entire area. I think these would make such cute gifts. A napping blanket. Are you obsessed with blankets? I totally am. I have so many blankets. I get new ones every year but I don't really ever throw any away either <laughs> or uh, take them to the local shelters or anything like that, I should. Okay, so there is our vinyl. We're gonna cool it just a little bit. Remember, we wanna do a warm peel, but I want to be able to actually grab that plastic backing sheet. So we're gonna let it cool just a smidgen so it doesn't burn my fingers. And we're gonna peel. Uh-oh, we get a peel. Do we need to go again? Sometimes with plush, plush can be a little tricky, especially just to get it started. There we go. Oh, my phone! I'm filming, people. Don't you know that? We're just going to pull that right off. And now... We have a napping blanket! Isn't that so stinking cute? Shh, this is my napping blanket. So now you can wear your napping blanket and your I don't wanna socks and your I'm so freaking freezing sweater and you are good for a Sunday morning of doing nothing. Sounds fabulous, right? 